to the last. Um, you have to zoom on. We're down to the last minute, so it's counting down seconds. Uh, I wanted 2.4 litres out. Uh, it was 480. Sorry, 200. Yeah, 2.4 litres. It was 480 mil per hour, and there's 2.395 mil has come out already. So it's counting down to 2.4 at the same time as the end of the time. So what I'll do is just get that on there and I'll get my special cloth there. Stop the machine. Now an alarm will come on because the machine stopped. Okay, so it's detected, the machine's detected that there's no blood flowing, so it's telling me what's going on and set an alarm. So I know that because I've stopped. So I will clamp the arterial line, clamp both ends. So it's clamped machine side and on the cannula. Now I can disconnect it so the blood doesn't go everywhere. Now this syringe which I put saline in before gets used there. I put that down and the saline line which comes straight from the saline bag will be connected to the arterial line. So we can flush the blood back. So put that down. I'll just flush this cannula. So this just pushes my blood back, so every bit of blood I every bit of blood is needed back. Now I'll just put one of those little plugs on that. Okay, and it's ready to be pulled out later. Now we have to get all this blood out of this line. So I'll open this valve from the saline, which runs into there. And we'll do a normal dialysis at 180 mils per minute. And that's what you, oops, what you have to do is just cramp the, crimp the line the blood tends to stick to the uh, plastic tubing. You can see it, the blood's clearing and being replaced by saline. So I'll just clamp all the way along those lines. You'll start to see um, if you close up on the kidney you'll start to see it starting to clear up and the blood being replaced by saline. Saline, saline, whatever. Depends which end of Cross Harbour you live in. So I'll just keep crimping this line to get all the blood from sticking. Now once, um, once this device, once this device detects a change in colour of the blood to a clearer substance, it will, will alarm again because it will detect that to tell me that there's something wrong, but I know what it is so it's fine. Okay, now it's detected a change in the colour, so we'll push that again, so that's okay, keep it going, and you can see the kidney is fairly well cleared of, of blood, and uh, the bag, the bio bag, it's nearly 
half empty. Up here, see the bio bags on the half empty. No, not the bio bag, the saline bag, sorry. I apologise. Okay, now that's enough, so I'll stop it. Now I'll clamp that and disconnect it. Clamp both ends on the Venus. Sometimes these stick and you have to use the metal clamps to undo them. Okay, it's off. Now I'll cap that one. So now I'm disconnected. Now just to complete the circuit, we'll put that on where the saline goes in. And that way nothing can escape from all these tubes. So they're all completely sealed. So that uh, finish, all that comes off, all this comes off, and uh, goes into the rubbish bin. So now I have to remove, just bring my table over, I've got some sterilised um, swabs here, and I make one into a square, now I have to remove the tape. Some blood does come out and it um, coagulates and so the needle might be stuck there so you have to just loosen it up and pull it out slightly. Now we'll get this ready and you have to get directly over the hole and put pressure on. Now that, I have to put pressure on there for about um, 10 minutes to stop it so it coagulates and uh, won't leak out. If I take my finger off here now probably get blood on the lens of the camera because it spurts out that far. Um, so I will do this for 10 minutes then I'll pull the arterial one out for 10 minutes and uh, then we'll get back and I'll show you quickly how we um, clean up the machine. Thank you. Okay now I've finished I have to um, clean up the machine and this is the easy part. And it's the end, which is of one day, which is good. So basically, we bring the rubbish bin over, throw the saline in, turn the kidney upside down. We have to drain the kidney. Now all this seems pretty complicated, but uh, you're taught how to do all this, and um, after a couple of times. It Kind of second nature, so there's no big deal. It does look very complicated when you first start, um, but with most things, you, you learn in time and through mistakes, mind you. But the training centre in Sydney, they won't let you go until you've pretty well worked it out, especially if you're a home dialysis patient. And that's it. That's a, that's a day on dialysis. That runs for 37 minutes. And when they finish that, we'll alarm and I'll turn the water off. And uh, that's it. So tomorrow, no dialysis. And the day after, I'll have to go through the whole thing again. Um, so that's it. So from Phil. I'll see you later.